Using the Dyke Sniffer Packet, which is the TCP dump way on your 40 gate, is a very handy tool and it can be used for different purposes, either uh, diagnosing the network issues and so on. But let's try to do something else. Let's try to use it and analyze. If someone is using Nmap to port scan your gateway. Coming up. Using packet capture techniques such as the Dyke Sniffer packet on your command line is not used to diagnose or to find out where packets are sent to different ports. Uh, for that, you will actually use your IPS and probably a denial of service signature. But for the sake of the demonstration, let's use it to try to find using a, a very nice and interesting filter tcp packets with the rst flag why rst flag a client that gets a probe request using a sin uh, for a specific port and that port is closed will send back a tcp packet with the rst flag and with the ac flag so let's just uh, use the dyke sniffer packet now we will use any we will not limit ourselves to a specific interface. And let's use a filter. Now, our filter will be TCP. Now, you do not need to uh, understand the filter, but the idea is that it is actually the hexadecimal byte position of the TCP packet and the RST flag. So in square brackets, we will enter the number 13 and four not equal and let's just close it and let's use verbosity to all right so we are sorry for that i have there it is all right so let's listen on um any interface and let's look for the tcp flag so we will open our ubuntu and let's um, use the nmap, uh, the full TCP scan. Uh, we can use different techniques, but we will use the full TCP scan, which actually initiates the three-way TCP handshake. All right, and it started. And here we can see, let's just stop that. We can see our gateway actually responds with an RST and an ACK. Uh, for different ports that are closed. For ports that are open, we will actually see a full TCP uh, three-way handshake being done, such as in port 80, port 443, port 53, which are open.